Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about LU factorization or LU decomposition. Before we go further with our topic for today, let us answer first the elementary mathematical sentences into a mathematical equations. Form a system of equations that describe the problem below. The sum of two numbers is 3. Thrice the first number plus twice the second number is 7. Okay, let's translate the mathematical sentences into a mathematical equations. Let x represent the first number and y the second number. So for our first sentence, we have the sum of two numbers is 3. So we're going to translate this into a mathematical equation. So this is x plus y is equal to 3. The second sentence, thrice the first number plus twice the second number is 7. So this is 3x plus 2y is equal to 7. The pair of equations, x plus y is equal to 3 and 3x plus 2y is equal to 7, is a system of linear equations. Why do we call it a linear equation? We call it a linear equation because the power or the exponent of the variables, which are x and y, is just 1. What is a system of linear equations? A system of linear equations is a set of two or more equations that have variables in common. Linear algebra is all about linear equations. Linear equations have a lot of real-world applications. Since so many things have linear relationships, whether in science, engineering, or even in economics. One of the primary role of linear algebra is solving the systems of linear equations. In order to do this, we can use the matrix notation. One way to solve the linear equations is by using matrix. What are some of the applications of matrices in our real life? Is there any? Yes, there are applications of matrices in real life. One of these is in science and physics. Matrices are used in optic science to account for refraction and reflection. It is also useful in electrical circuits and quantum physics. The second one is in mathematics and statistics. The third is in graphics. Digital image is said to be matrix. How? The rows and columns of the matrix correspond to the rows and columns of pixels. There are other applications of matrices. One of these is encryption. We use it to scramble data for security purposes and to encode and decode this data, it requires matrices. The next one is for 3D games. We use it to alter the object in 3D space. The next one is for economics and business. To study the trends of the business shares and to create business models and etc. The fourth application of matrices is for the construction. Have you seen some buildings that are straight but sometimes architects try to change the outer structure of the building? This can be done with matrices. Also in dance, especially in concert dance, matrices can be applied. How? It is used to organize complicated group dances. Next one is for animation. It can help make animation more precise and accurate. The last one is for geology. 
Matrices are used for taking seismic surveys. Matrices are useful and important in the real life. So, let's study matrix. One of the primary rules of linear algebra is solving the systems of linear equations. In order to do this, we can use the matrix notation. In this system of linear equations, have the same variables but different coefficients. Since the variables are all the same, we can present this in a matrix like this. So, in our first equation, which is x plus y is equal to 3, the numerical coefficient of x is 1, and also for y is 1. So, we're going to get coefficients. So, for the first row, we have 1, 1. For the second equation, which is 3x plus 2y is equal to 7, the coefficients are 3 and 2. And we're going to put it in our matrix for the second row. This is 3, 2. This is the so-called coefficient matrix. If we're going to include the constants in our equations, which are 3 and 7, in to our matrix, then this is the so-called augmented matrix. In this augmented matrix, it consists of two rows and three columns. So this is a 2 by 3 matrix. Okay, let's discuss the LU factorization or decomposition. When given a square matrix A, we want to find L or the lower triangular matrix and U, an upper triangular matrix. This is A is equal to LU. A must be able to be reduced to row echelon form U without interchanging any rows. L and U are not unique. Using the opposites of the multiplier used in the row operations to obtain U, we can build L. In matrix A, it is called a square matrix. Why? It is because the number of rows is equal to the number of columns. Look at these numbers 1, 5, and 9. These numbers comprise the main diagonal. It is called a lower triangular matrix. If the entries above the main diagonal are all zero, and the entries in the main diagonal are all 1. This is the format for the lower triangular matrix. It is called an upper triangular matrix if the entries below the main diagonal are all 0, just like this. And for the main diagonal, is not necessarily B1. It can be any number. Okay, let's have some examples on how to solve the LU factorization or decomposition. Given the matrix A, 1, 1, 3, 3, 2, 7, negative 2, 8, and 5. Always remember that we need to keep track of the elementary row operations to write A as an upper triangular matrix. We're going to obtain U here and we're going to build L here or the lower triangular matrix with a format of 1, 1, 1 as our diagonal and the entries above the diagonal are all 0. Going back to our matrix. We're going to start with the first column. We will use this number as our pivot to get rid of the numbers under it to become zeros. So the first number that we're going to make zero is three. How we're going to make three into zero? All right, we're going to get the additive inverse of three, which is negative three, and we're going to multiply it to row one, then add row two. Okay, but before that, we're going to copy all entries from row 1 into our upper triangular matrix below. Then, let's solve for row 2. Negative 3 times 1 is equal to negative 3, plus 3 is equal to 0. Negative 3 times 1 is equal to negative 3, plus 2 is equal to negative 1. Negative 3 times 3 is equal to negative 9, plus 7 is equal to negative 2. Then, we're going to get the opposite of negative 3, 
and put it in row 2 column 1 of our lower triangular matrix. Then copy row 3 from our matrix A. The next problem that we're going to make 0 is this number, negative 2. What shall we do? Alright, we're going to multiply positive 2 to row 1, then add row 3. First, we're going to copy all the entries from row 1 and row 2 into the matrix below. Okay, let's solve row 3. 2 times 1 is equal to 2 plus negative 2 is equal to 0. 2 times 1 is equal to 2 plus 8 is equal to 10. 2 times 3 is equal to 6 plus 5 is equal to 11. We're going to get the opposite of 2 which is negative 2 and put it in the lower triangular matrix under row 3 column 1. Okay, this is our pivot now for the second column. Okay, this is our problem. What shall we do with, with 10 to make it 0? Alright, we're going to multiply 10 to row 2, then we're going to add row 3. We're going to copy first all the entries from row 1 and row 2 into our new matrix. Okay, then let's solve for row 3. 10 times 0 is equal to 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. 10 times negative 1 is equal to negative 10 plus 10 is equal to 0. 10 times negative 2 is equal to negative 20 plus 11 is equal to negative 9. Then take the opposite of 10, which is negative 10, and put it in row 3, column 2. This is the way how we're going to solve the LU factorization. Okay, let's sum up our answer. This is matrix A, which is equal to lower triangular matrix and the upper triangular matrix. Another example. So we're going to obtain U here and we're going to build L here. In this example, it is a 2 by 3 matrix. So this is the format for the lower triangular matrix. So we only have 2 rows and 2 columns. The number of rows and columns in a lower triangular matrix, it depends upon the number of rows in matrix A. So in our example here, uh, matrix A has two rows. Therefore, uh, the lower triangular matrix will be having two rows and two columns. But the upper triangular matrix, it is just the same with our matrix A. So our first problem is we're going to make these three into zero. How we can do it? Alright, we can use the opposite of 3, which is negative 3. And we're going to multiply it to row 1. And then we're going to add row 2. So we're going to copy first the entries from row 1, which is 1, 1, 3. Then let's solve for row 2. Negative 3 times 1 is equal to negative 3, plus 3 is equal to 0. Negative 3 times 1 is equal to negative 3, plus 2 is equal to negative 1. Then negative 3 times 3 is equal to negative 9 plus 7 is equal to negative 2. So we already obtained U. And for the lower triangular matrix, we're going to get the opposite of negative 3, which is positive 3. And this is our L or the lower triangular matrix. And this is our final answer. Please study the table below. I hope you understand our lesson for today and thank you for listening.